what's up y'all it's your girl kai and i am back with another video thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are new here what's up it's your girl kai and you are tuning into my youtube channel it must be kai so go ahead and hit that like comment and subscribe button and we're gonna get right into this video so okay y'all i have had these braids in only for a week and a half but if you know you know when you have in tribal braids or braids done to the scalp cornrows of any kind they get fuzzy real real quick okay and because i have a whole bunch of hair i was getting so much dandruff my scalp was itching and everything so i was like okay it's time for these bad boys to come out so i just got my scissors a plastic bag of course i have my dimming brush to detangle with i have a spray bottle and i'm gonna get into that later as to why i have this spray bottle i also have my pink lotion moisturizer of course lusters has never ever done me wrong and we also have the tresemme flawless curls conditioner so these are all of my materials that i'm going to be using so first things first we're literally just going to cut out these beads because my hair is super duper long so i didn't want to cut up too high so i just went in first to cut off all the beads and then as i continue through my hair to take out the braids i would decide if i could cut up a little higher or if i should just leave the braids the same so as you can see here i'm just going to cut these braids cut these beads out real quick and drop them in the bag because we cannot get started until we get these beads out so i know y'all are like kai you only had the braids in for a week and a half like i literally wore them to vegas came back and they were super duper frizzy and i was just like okay it's time for something new i really wanted to do my wash and go as well because memorial day is coming up and if you know you know us girls love to change our hair up so i was feeling wash and goy for memorial day not braids for memorial day okay if, if, if you know you know okay so first things first that we're gonna do is we finna drench our hair okay i'm gonna talk to y'all about why i do this so this all goes into the length of retention and just keeping our hair safe and healthy so if you haven't seen the video of me prepping my hair for this hairstyle and actually getting the hairstyle definitely check those out and you will see that i put a lot of moisture in my hair i'm very big on moisture because the last thing i want to do while i'm getting a protective style is breaking off my hair so first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm actually just going in with a water bottle and just spraying my hair and saturating it really good and then i'm gonna go on top of it with the luster's pink lotion if you know you know this is a super duper og of mine and you already know that i don't think it's beneficial to apply oil to a dry scalp i feel like you do need to wet it a little bit with some water just to soften it up before you even apply oil so all i'm doing is putting this oil moisturizer in my scalp on my hair and down the shaft of the braids because as i unravel the braids remember that the synthetic hair has dried out our hair so now we have to put that moisture back into it because otherwise as we've taken it out all we're going to be doing is breaking off our dry hair okay so we have to make sure that it is fully moisturized and make sure that it's getting some moisture and the synthetic hair is not absorbing it all so I'm just gonna take a ton of it. And as you can see, I'm just gonna press it and rub it down the shaft of my hair, however far down my hair goes. And y'all actually see the difference as I'm taking it out and why I do this. And if you, I'm, I guarantee if you do this same technique, you will see the difference. So all I'm gonna do is I'm about to take this braid out. So you all just saw me apply the Luster's Pink Lotion. That is a very important part. My braids come out very easily because they are slightly damp and they have moisturizer on them. So the braids are not dry. It doesn't hurt to take them out because I already told y'all I'm tender headed all in the top. So the Luster's Pink Lotion and the water has softened my hair up so that it's easier for the braid to come out. So this is the first braid this is what it's looking like and you can tell just by looking at my hair that it's not dry i'm going in with some tresemme conditioner just a little bit on that section and i'm just gonna rub it through there and then i'm going to detangle it and i'm gonna pretty much do that with every braid i don't do it individually per se but i might unravel maybe two three four braids and then brush it all out at one time 
definitely do whatever works for you but did y'all see how easily i combed through that it was a ton of slip and it did not hurt at all so as you can see as i'm showing y'all my hair and i've taken out this whole side my hair does not look any type of dry it doesn't look brittle it actually is shiny because of all the moisture that i have applied to it over time when before i put in the protective style and as i'm taking it out with the lustrous pink lotion so i'm just going to be massaging that conditioner in and you're going to see it's very very easy for me to brush through my hair and get the tangles out and you see the shine you're not just seeing any breakage you're just seeing the usual shedding that you would normally get if you had a protective style for a while the natural shedding of the hairs that we shed every day but y'all look at my hair look how shiny it is and it's actually very very soft as well because of the lustrous pink lotion and the water and the tresemme and the serum and everything that i used before and during this takedown that is what's making my hair so soft and it's strong my hair looks super healthy and shiny and that's exactly what you want when taking out a protective style you never want to take out your protective style on bone dry hair because your hair is exhausted from being in that protective style so who are you to be breaking and snapping it off as you take it out bone dry give your hair some moisture definitely love on your hair so i'm gonna go ahead and take out the other side of my hair and let y'all watch and i will come back at the end
all right child so we just finished taking out the last braid in the top of course i'm going in with that tresemme and i'm going to detangle it but y'all guess what happened while i was detangling this section keep on watching boom oh my gosh i just broke my dimming brush i was able to fix it real quick but i could not believe that i did that like my hair was gliding and sliding but it just got a little thick right there it just got a little thick okay so i accidentally broke the brush but anyway we are finished with the front of our head taking out this style is not taking me long at all so as you can see you can see how shiny and soft my hair is it's not dry it's not brittle and so now we can definitely get into taking the back out so of course i was not finna sit up there and just turn around and take the back out so i just left y'all two of them so you can watch me take them out real quick of course i'm just cutting more of the ends off I do feel like in the front, I cut off my hair a little bit. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. In the front, I was like, this a little short. I don't know if it's always been kind of short or if I accidentally cut it. But whatever. I just got a free trim. It don't matter. It'll grow back. Anyway, as you can see, as I'm unraveling these braids, like I'm constantly telling y'all, you can see how shiny and soft my hair is. And that's what you want your hair to look like when you're taking out protective styles you do not want your hair to be dry and water is not going to moisturize your hair enough to take it out so don't spray your hair down with water and then think you're gonna brush it out no that's still not good for your hair you need some real moisture and definitely you need some product with some slip because if you're trying to brush your hair out with just water on it or with just oil on it you're not going to get that slip and you're going to end up losing way more hair because you're pulling it out and breaking it off. So you definitely want to use a product with a ton of slip and that's where my conditioner comes in. And then I just let the conditioner sit in my head because to be, because to be honest, it was about 930 at night as I'm doing this and I already knew that I was not going to be washing my hair tonight. I was going to throw a bonnet on and go to sleep and worry about it tomorrow. So now I have all the braids out. I want to say that it took me about an hour and 45 minutes to get it out, but my hair is super duper soft. I'm so happy with it that I just feel like it's healthy. It doesn't feel brittle or dry. So I'm just going to section the back of my hair into four sections because my hair still is blown out. If you know, you know, when I detangle my hair, I typically do three sections on each side in the back, but because my hair is already blow dried out. I just went ahead and did two sections on each side and all I'm going to do is what I've been doing and I'm just going to brush it all the way out and then bantu knot it.
all right y'all so i am officially on the very last section of my hair and that's really going to conclude this video i hope y'all understood everything that i was talking about and everything that i was saying and that y'all use these tips for when you're taking out your protective styles because we're trying to retain length and keep our hair healthy all at the same time because it's no use in growing all this hair in a protective style just to snap and break it off as soon as you come out of that protective style so i thank you guys so much for tuning in definitely be sure to like comment and subscribe and go ahead on over to instagram and follow me on instagram at it must be kai so we could chit chat and have a party over there so we can come back over here and turn up okay so i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching